In this tutorial, we will prepare a Java development environment for Evolution Framework. We will install and configure all the tools needed so we can start developing modern business applications with Evolution Framework. Before start, we'd like to recommend you that you install all tools in one location, because it's better to have all the things for development in one place. We will use my work folder for installation of all the tools needed. As you can see, database is already installed there. On this tutorial CD, you will find one folder with all the needed development tools. First, we will need to install Java Development Kit or JDK. And we want to install JDK in our working folder. Installation will additionally try to install GRE or Java Runtime Environment which is needed for running Java applets inside web browsers. Firefox will then start automatically and offer us registration but we don't want to register at this time. So we'll close the Firefox. Let's now install Jai or Java Advanced Imaging, which is needed for advanced image processing in Evolution Framework. Jai will automatically recognize our JDK path. We'll install complete version of Jai. Then we will install our web application server Tomcat. We want to change default port to 9080 because some other applications may interfere with default 8080 port. Also we will set administrator username and password which is used for Tomcat console access. Now we need to provide Tomcat with our JDK path. We will select JDK which we installed in our working directory. Also we need to provide Tomcat installation path which will be of course in our working directory as well. We don't want to run Tomcat at this time and we won't, don't want to read the readme file. Next step is to install Eclipse. Eclipse doesn't need installation, extracting from his R5 is installation. We will extract Eclipse in our working directory as well. Now we will rename folder so folder will have Eclipse version in its name. This is Eclipse version 4.2 for Java Enterprise Edition. Also we will add desktop shortcut. Next step is to install our Tomcat plugin. We will extract Tomcat plugin archive in Eclipse plugins directory and that way plugin will install itself. New folder is added to plugins directory as you can see. So now we can start Eclipse for the first time. We need to set Eclipse workspace to our working folder as well, which is see my work, Eclipse workspace. And we will use this as default and Eclipse won't ask us again about that. Running Eclipse for the first time may take some time. Eclipse is our main development environment in which we will create web applications with Evolution Framework. When Eclipse has started, we first want to change its perspective to Java perspective. 
Perspectives in a clips are nothing more than a predefined set of views and their positions, which can be changed according to user preferences. We will now move task list to show that any view can be moved to any position. Now I want to point Eclipse to RJDK. Going to Eclipse Preferences and then install GREs. We can add RJDK by adding a new standard virtual machine. Then we need to point to our JDK directory, which is of course in our working folder. So Eclipse can then add those libraries and use our JDK for development purposes. Next step is to configure Tomcat. We again go in our window of preferences option. Then we go on Tomcat. We choose version 7. And of course we need to choose where Tomcat is installed. It is in our working folder. There is one more thing. We need to add Java virtual machine parameter. First we select our JDK. And then by clicking on add we add new parameter. This parameter will enable JVM to use 256 megabytes. XMX256M so Java virtual machine can run Tomcat and web locations. Now I want to start Tomcat by clicking on the first of three icons and we will see in console that Tomcat has started on port 9080. That is what we wanted at the first place. be sure that everything is ok, we will open Firefox and go to localhost on 9080 port. Now we can see that Tomcat is started on port 9080 and we can see that Tomcat is started successful. We now have our development environment all set and ready to import and use Evolution Framework.